What's up everybody, welcome to Hustle with Drew. Today's video, I'm gonna go over the top 10 secret items you need for your photo booth rental business. And no, this is not your photo booth. I'm not talking about what camera or tablet, software. These are just secret things that I've learned from being in the business for over six years. Uh, just items that we'll need. I have a list here. So the first thing that you'll need is gaff tape. So in this business, you're gonna be dealing with cables running on the floor or just any, any type of thing that is loose. Gaff tape is perfect. You wanna make sure you have it on hand because if you have your extension cord running from your photo booth to the outlet, 100% make sure you tape it down because if it's not taped down, you're just asking for a lawsuit. People have been drinking, there's children running around, they'll trip on the cord and they can get hurt, you know. So yeah, buy gaff tape and I'm gonna leave links to everything that I'm saying in this video in the description for Amazon. So if you wanna get your photo booth business started or you wanna just, you know, take it a step further and have these items and make your life a lot easier, link will be in the description. So after gaff tape, um, this is something that I've, uh, I heard from another fellow YouTuber that makes photo booth related content. It is a door stopper. Yes, I know, I can't believe, I, am, I can't believe it was this useful. It's just a little thing that you can wedge in between a door to hold the door open while you're bringing your gear into an event. I would actually say bring two, they're really small, so you can just, sometimes you have to go through multiple doors and it's really hard to drag your equipment and hold the door open, especially if you're doing your, um, your drop-offs and your setups yourself. So this, again, can apply to a 360 photo booth, regular print booth, um, iPad booth or whatever booth. So door stoppers, very, very crucial and they're really inexpensive. So yeah, next up is a wagon. Um, a lot of people use dollies or wagons to transport their stuff. When I first started, you guys, I wanted to save money and I really didn't think that I needed a wagon. But now that I have one, I really can't see myself coming to an event without it. It's literally like, I think we paid like 50 bucks and it has saved us so much stress and like trips to go to the car. So we literally just load up all of our equipment in the wagon, bring it to the event with the door stopper makes it a lot easier. So just buy it you guys, I'm telling you it'll pay off and you will not regret it. Next up you guys, this is something that sounds really silly but make sure you bring a giant water bottle filled with water and some snacks. I uh, highly recommend just bringing a gallon jug of water because a lot of times during the event, you may not have time to go get water or you may not even have access to water because you may be loca located in the very back of a venue or whatever. So if you come prepared, just you know, make sure you have something to drink and something to eat. Most of the times at these events, if we're working and we're there, they'll provide meals for us, but sometimes it just doesn't work out like that. and. Yeah, so, you know, a snack, a snack and some water. <laughs> Next up, um, since we're talking about necessities for us, I highly recommend you bring a jacket. If it's an event that, that's in Southern California, doesn't, very, doesn't get that cold out here, still bring one. You never know exactly where you'll be set up. Um, and sometimes, you know, the weather reports can be wrong. It could be very windy. And it just, it just makes sense. Just bring a jacket. <laughs> Okay, so this is super important. The next item I think is crucial to have are sandbags. Sandbags are important if you have a backdrop, especially if that backdrop is set up outside. That extra weight to hold a backdrop down could literally be the difference of it falling down or literally just getting blown away. So again, you guys, make sure you buy sandbags, put them on your backdrops, especially if they're outside. It could literally save you a lawsuit or just the headache of having to continuously making sure you're pushing your backdrop back in place. And um, next up is a tent. Uh, I would highly recommend buying an easy up um, with uh, walls on the side and the back. Um, a lot of times you're gonna get booked for events and your customer's gonna tell you that it's an outdoors event and that your photo booth will be in shade. But a lot of times you'll come to the event ready and hey, guess what? There's no longer any shade for the photo booth. Their table with food is more important than your photo booth, so they'll not even really, sub I don't think they do it on, on purpose, but a lot of times they'll say like, well, yeah, now there's no room. Um, you have to set up in the sun. So what we do is we put a, um, in place that the customer already knows like, hey, if there's no shade and we show up, you have to pay $100 for us to put up a tent. And if they wanna give you a hard time, just let them know like, hey, like you told us, Nicely, I know I'm saying it like a little passive aggressively, but just nicely say like, hey, you know, you were reminded and on the contract and all that good stuff states that you must provide shade. 
Now we have to bring our own tent and we have to set it up, break it down, and this is what it is. So make sure you have a tent with the walls because you do not want your photo booth to get damaged in the sun. Um, believe it or not, like people think that like they can just drop a photo booth off in the, in the sunlight, nothing's gonna happen. If it's in direct sunlight, you're, you can literally ruin your equipment within five minutes if it's very hot. So don't even risk it, just make sure whatever you do, it's in shade. So next up, business cards slash flyers. Common sense, you guys, I don't care if it's your first job or your third job, always have business cards, especially if you're just getting started and you're charging very little or even doing free events. You wanna have something there that customers can take away. That way when it comes to, to them booking their own photo booth, they'll have your information. You're literally just wasting free leads by not having business cards or flyers there. The next thing I wanna talk about is backup for everything. If you have the money, obviously it makes mo the most sense to buy backup of everything, camera, printer, backdrop, whatever, just in case. But you know, if you don't have the, the, the funds to do that, just buy backups of the, the things that are very inexpensive. That could literally just be like a $10, you know, USB cable that goes from the camera to the printer. That could literally save um, an event. We've had it in the past where we've had one cable fail, but luckily we brought it back up. And um, to tie it in, the, the next one would be a long extension cord. I'm talking like very, very long. Because there'll be times where, you, where they don't want to put you somewhere very far and you may only have like a 20 foot extension cord and that, that, might not, that may not be enough. But if you have a backup, something that's super long, that could literally save your ass because power means everything. If you have no power to your photo booth, you can't run your event. If you can't run your event, you're most likely gonna have an unhappy customer. So that's super important. And the last thing, uh, last but not least, uh, screen cleaner. Um, like on Amazon, you can buy it. It's just like a little bottle of spray. You spray it onto your tablet, your iPad, or you can even use it on your camera. It just basically cleans off any smudges. This is just more of a uh, presentation thing. A lot of times when we drop off our iPads, we notice that like from all of our testing, it has like our oils and smudges on it. It's just, it's not a good look and it looks a lot better when you're, you know, you leave the photo booth and it's just, super clean so that's gonna wrap it up these are 10 things that I think are secret photo booth necessities I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one bye